Welcome to Surgery Squad's Virtual Laser Hair Removal. I'm Dr. Jeff, and I'll be assisting you with this surgery today. Everyone gets hair where they really don't care to have it. Fortunately for all of us, we have the option of laser hair removal. Laser hair removal is a non-invasive cosmetic procedure that uses a laser to remove unwanted hair. The energy from the laser damages the hair follicle, which reduces the hair's ability to grow. Although laser hair removal is an incredibly popular procedure, not everyone is a good candidate. The best candidates are those who have hair that is darker than their skin. Individuals who have a darker complexion or lighter colored hair may have their skin inadvertently damaged by the laser. These individuals may also need more treatments to get rid of the unwanted hair. Our patient today is a male in his 30s that wants to get rid of some unsightly back hair. As you can see, he is an ideal candidate since his hair is darker than his skin. I've already given our patient special goggles to protect his eyes from the intense light that is emitted from the laser. To get things started, we first need to shave the treatment area. Great. Next, let's apply a topical anesthetic to the treatment area to reduce the amount of discomfort our patient may experience. Now that the topical anesthetic is applied, we'll need to wait about 30 minutes or so for it to take effect. The anesthetic has set in. It's time to zap some follicles. The most important step of laser hair removal is to get rid of the unwanted hair using our laser. As you guide the laser over the treatment area, it shoots tiny bursts of energy which travels through the skin and is absorbed by the hair follicles. By doing this, we're damaging the hair follicle and reducing any future growth. Why don't you try it out?
Perfect. Are you sure you haven't done this before? After the procedure has been completed, our patient's skin may appear red or irritated. Luckily, this lasts only a day or so. It's extremely important to avoid the sun or use sunblock for a few weeks after the procedure and avoid any plucking or waxing of the treatment area. Immediately after the treatment, our patient can apply cold compresses to the area to help alleviate any discomfort. Within a few weeks after the procedure, he may notice some new hair growth from the treated hair follicles that were inactive at the time. Because of this, our patient may need to undergo multiple treatments. Most individuals receive a total of six to eight treatments before achieving desired results. The overall results of each treatment rely greatly on an individual's skin tone, hair type, and growth phase of the hair within the treatment area. Laser hair removal may not prevent hair from growing completely, but after multiple treatments, it can significantly reduce the amount of unwanted growth. And that's laser hair removal. I couldn't have done it better myself. Why not try your skills in another surgery here on SurgerySquad.com. Check out our other videos on SurgerySquad.com.